Hello YouTube. In this video I'm going to be finishing up fitting of parts. Uh, there's only a few things left. Um, basically we need to fit the extractor to the firing pin stop, fit the firing pin stop to the slide. Um, let's see, we need to fit the safety, uh, thumb safety to the sear. I'm using a true radius sear uh, for this build. <clears throat> this trigger I've already tried to uh, test fit it and uh, it's a Wilson combat trigger I can't remember exactly what the model is but apparently this trigger didn't need to be fitted uh, the pad was already uh, shorter length than the opening in the frame which was kind of surprising all I had to do was just uh, chamfer the edges on the on the pad and the trigger went in. I did notice uh, kind of a serious problem with this build and that's the firing pin uh, hole is actually off uh, off center on the slide which is kind of surprising. I'll show you what I mean or I'll try to show you what I mean. Here's a deep primed uh, case 45 ACP. We're gonna close the slide Let's see if I can show you that hole. Okay, so I'm holding the pistol sideways, but you can see that the hole, the firing pin hole and the hole in the chamber or in the case do not align. You can see that we can see the case through the firing pin hole. Now if we look through this side, we're looking through the case right now and you can see how the firing pin hole is misaligned with the hole in the, in the case in the casing so if you're wondering if I just fitted the barrel incorrectly what I did was I repeated the same test pushing the case over to the left wall uh, or left shoulder of the breech face and then look through the hole and I got the exact same picture so the way the case sits in the in the slide uh, shows me that exact same firing pin hole position so it's definitely not the way the barrel is fitted it's just that's where the hole is drilled in the slide so we'll try to build through that and uh, and see what we end up with what I showed you before is that the barrel could not drop low enough uh, or didn't dro drop low enough <laughs> and I wanted to show you here that it's the slide that's preventing the barrel from dropping any lower. So in order to allow my barrel to drop a little bit lower what I've decided to do is work on the on these areas that are currently rubbing uh, my biggest concern is, is uh, thinning out this area so I want to make sure that I don't go too crazy um, and, and make this area too thin. I'm going to use a bit of sandpaper just to clean up all right so now that I've touched the sides or the undersides of the barrel basically from let's say from mid portion down to the bottom lug let's check it out and see how it drops in the slide so here it is fully locked in hopefully you can see and now see how much bigger that gap is now and even if I move here, I'll try to 
I'll try to show you so that you can see for sure that gap. So here's me moving the barrel forward. You see how that gap stays nice and wide between the barrel and slide. And here it is locked up. We'll start with the thumb safety and then move on to uh, firing pin stop and uh, extractor. Now with the hammer cocked, here are the legs of our sear. <clears throat> We're going to put our thumb safety in. This is the position it goes in. And you can see that right now it's being blocked by the sear. Hopefully you can see that. So right there. You can see I actually made a little mark on the very end of the tab where the sear is currently cur currently conflicting and we're going to file that little tab trying to stay parallel to this see this flat right here we're going to try to stay parallel to that and file just that tip right here. here we're going to file it a little bit more I just got a different file here's how that cut looks and see we're staying parallel to that other flat so and with a lot of pressure it's starting to go so that's good now we just need to even out our filing thumb safety now sits perfectly now let's see if we can engage it and we can by the way this 45 ACP slide from Caspian requires a use of a 9mm ejector and a 9mm firing pin which is kind of interesting so if our firing pin will drop in well, it doesn't really drop in but it does move in as you can see again I think the the channel is too dirty at this point we're going to need to see if our firing pin stop it there it is if our firing pin stop can fit into the slide so let's measure the firing pin stop right now it's 482 thousandths now let's measure the slot in the slide and it's 400 and Let's try to get the best measurement we can. 476 thousandths. So 482, 476, I think we have uh, six thousandths uh, of material that we need to remove from the firing pin stop. So let's go ahead and start with that. We'll start removing from each side three thousandths. So I took a little bit off of this side, as you can see. Let's measure. So if I hold it like that, now I'm getting 480 thousandths. All right, so let's go ahead and measure. 479, even a little bit less. Now my firing pin stop goes in, but it doesn't go in deep enough. So what we'll need to do is just take care of these rounds 
So a little bit more work on the rounds, I just had to lower them a little bit more. And now, let's see, firing pin stop goes all the way in and I don't feel a step anymore. First, let's check if the extractor fits the firing pin stop and right now it looks like it can't go in um, all the way. Okay, so the question now is do we want to pull the extractor back or push it forward a little bit? And I think I think what I want to do is probably <clears throat> pull it back a little bit. So we're going to take our file and we're going to be attacking this wall of the extractor. A little bit. And we're focusing on the bottom. Because that's where our firing pin stop can't go in for some reason. Seems like it's pretty decent engagement. The extractor is in. We're going to push our firing pin stop all the way up like that. These brushes are amazing for cleaning uh, 1911s. Specifically, I mean, look at this. You, you have a brush that will fit into the, uh, into the plunger tube. You can use the brush to get all the way through the firing pin uh, channel and clean it out. You see that? These air airbrush brushes are just amazing. So I highly recommend them. something oh we're hitting our firing pin our firing pin is a 45 ACP and our ejector is 9 millimeter so that's why we're hitting that's the other thing we need to put together or fit rather which I forgot so you can see in here how much the firing pin stop protrudes into the ejector opening see that so we need to remove all of that material the other thing I, I had to do was uh, make a relief cut on the top of the guide rod uh, simply because I noticed that 
this intersection, the, the head or the top of the head was contacting recoil lugs or bottom lugs, I mean, when they were get going in engagement. So I just filed it a little bit. Okay, so let's see. Let's check safeties again. So, no beaver tail. Can't push the trigger. Thumb safety off. Boom. See the fit here in the back I'll show you it's not as good as I, I hoped it was gonna be but it's good enough oh huh this magazine doesn't engage the magazine catch I think I got the uh, high shelf one so I'm going to relieve this um, mag stop or over insertion stop uh, a little bit and I'm talking about a little bit okay so now that I've made the modification to the uh, over insertion stop let's see magazine locks in and we see very little travel access travel so very little <coughs> Another magazine locks in. Very little travel. Another magazine locks in. Very little travel. Locks in. Very little travel. So this pistol. Oh, the other thing we should try is a pencil test. I'm gonna aim it kind of away and see how far it'll go. About seven feet off to the side so that's good. Let's see if magazine locks the slide back Let's see if we can release the slide by pulling it and it, it seems to be okay. So at this point we're ready for a test fire without sights but still test fire. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.